All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem that says the component of force F along line AA is required to be 30 pounds. Determine the magnitude of F and its component along line VV. With this kind of problem, you have to form a triangle. So we're going to continue this F force over here, pretend it's straight. And now you know that you have force along A aiming this way and a force along B aiming this way. And they're telling you that the force along A is required to be 30 pounds. Then we're going to put the force along B over here, forming a parallelogram. And I'm going to redraw this triangle over here. So you know that the force along A is 30 pounds. The force along B, we don't know. And the force we don't know either. You know that this angle is 60 degrees because this one's 60 degrees. And you know that this angle is 80 degrees, which means that this angle is 80 degrees. So this is 60 and this is 80. All the angles inside a triangle add up to 180 and we have this two, so this means this one's 40. Now that we have uh, one side and three angles, we're going to use the law of sines to solve this problem. Law of sines says that side A over sine of angle A is equal to side B over sine of angle B, which is equal to side C over sine of angle C. So if this is side A, this is angle A, if this is side B, this is angle B, and if this is side C, this is angle C. So it's the angle that's opposite, that goes with its respective uh, side. So now you just plug in the numbers into the formula, you know that F over sine of 40 is equal to 30 over sine of 80 which is equal to FB over sine of 60 so F is gonna equal I'm gonna solve for it it's gonna be 30 times sine of 40 over sine of 80 which means F is equal to 19.58 pounds draw a line over here and FB is equal to 30 sine of 60 over sine of 80 which means that FB is equal to 26.38 Final answer.